to figure out what kind of train wreck this is going to be. <laughs> Holy fuck, I think we found the right button. Holy there shit. it is. Yeah, that means it's time for Warhammered. It's, uh, brought to you by Second Pitch. Brought to you by Second Pitch Beer Company. Jesus. We're here in the Battle Pub studio. You shouldn't have to get in your own, like the guy he should get. I know. Yeah, I, know I was right? getting there. He beat me to it. But uh, make sure ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Warhammered. Hey, there you go. Thank you. you but we're here for uh, <laughs> games, drinks, and hijinks, and yeah. I'm here with these Perfect. two fucking yeah, whatever you are, gentlemen. Yeah, we'll yeah, go with scholars. that. We'll throw that word around. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? That, that, that <laughs> word gets thrown around a lot these days. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, so uh, well, yeah. Well. So uh, it is brought to you by Second Pitch Beer Company. Uh, I'm Jazz. That's Big Jim, and that's Beer Jim, and that's how we're going to separate it. Yeah. Uh. So, when last we left you, <laughs> last, oh, we week, have, are there, last there, week on Warhammer, is there like a recap? Thing? It's like a recap. <laughs> yeah. now, now's the montage. Play, yeah, the montage. Play. That's not going to happen. That's way too much and effort. Nah. Like, it's not gonna, uh, we were having a discussion about uh, who was at fault, yeah. Russ and Magnus. And apparently, there's some strongly held beliefs here about who's right and who's wrong. And I think where it's really landing is that Beer Jim and I understand the actual scenario, and then you're wrong. Yeah. No. Well, I mean, I'm like, okay, okay. Uh, but before we get into all this thing, the real person who is at fault is the emperor. entire thing is A, the emperor, yeah. and B, Horus. Right? We're just going to admit, admit that. Because, sure, and everybody else because, because is everybody else, Everybody else is just was tricked and fooled right. and made to look like a fucking idiot the entire time. Yeah. Like, those two guys were the real architect. So this. okay, and, and he and uh, he's right. Mm-hmm. So the space wolves have one job. Okay, they've been able to do it moderately, probably two, twice, and we know they did it. Uh, they censored the uh, the fucking second legion. Wait, they, 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 second? They, they they censored two legions. They two censored. Legion. No, they censored. So one legion got lost. And then oh, no. the other legion got censored. So, so, so there is, there is, there are the two lost legions. Yeah. Which is the which censor I, I, and the I have lost. A theory and on then them. they've also been around to censor two, the wolves, space wolves have been around for two more legion censors, yeah. which was the, uh, world eaters. World eaters. Where the, uh, the famous, like, you know, where, uh, basically the world eaters came in and was like, Hey, we're just going to fucking wreck shop here. Yeah. The space wolves are saying that we're doing something wrong and we're just going to start killing everybody. Space wolves fought as like a unified army where they were getting destroyed, but they had a guard or an actual set up a perimeter yep. around their two primarchs. And they had a th- like hundreds of guns pointed at Angron. And Angron was saying like, well, I won because I was about to kill Lehman Russ. And they're like, no, you goddamn idiot. We were going to destroy you because... We had a hundred guns. So, yeah, right. It was yeah. like, like, well, it's sort of kind of draw, like they both kind of, they, they both rolled away and licked their wounds and licked their wounds. And both of them said we won. Yeah. But it's also talked about in one of the movie, one of the books, I think it's Betrayer. If I'm not, cor- if I'm incorrect, sorry, where, um, <sighs> fucking, uh, the big dickhead, um, Oh, that narrowed Lorgar, down. Lor- Lorgar was talking oh. to Angron about this thing. And he was like, like Angron, you don't, you don't see it. Do you like you lost? Like you lost. And he was like, no, 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 I was about to win. And he was like, no, just because you're about to beat the single guy in front of you, you lost the war. Sure. You guys had lost. But at the same time, and then well, I have a soft spot let me finish. For but, but then, right, but, but, but then yeah. he did, he did I censor guess. another one, which was, um, a thousand uh, sons. The, no, a thousand sons. But who censored the world bearers? Wor- the word, word bearers? bearers? Word bearers. Was that Gilliman? Oh, that wasn't till. Like way the fuck later on. Yeah, way the fuck later on where they. But, will, my, but my point was, he's only kind of done his job a couple of times. So the minute Horace is like, "Hey, you got a chance to go do your job," mm-hmm. he's all about it. And I get like, you know, he's okay, a little thick in the head. In the Magnus situation, mm-hmm. was Magnus wrong or was Russ wrong? Magnus shouldn't have done what he did. Why shouldn't have Magnus done? what He, he should did? have found another way to do it. How are you going that. to get that information across the galaxy in time? Look, man, you got you. you okay, okay. You have a bunch of of sorcerers, right? You're the sorcerer legion. Yeah. You saying you can't like manipulate warp currents and stuff to get your a ship? Oh, they did. A single ship. So he's taking my there for me as fucking fast as you can yeah. to tear him. Be like, hey guys, 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 guys. But how many this of his own people fucked. did they nuke so that he could try and get that right. message back to Terra? Like it, yeah. it roasted the brain of like yeah. so, so I many think, people. I think Bear Jim is kind of coming around. I am a little bit, yeah, actually. <laughs> so I might so have switched sides. There may, just there's the a, there, there was another way to do this, <laughs> just a, especially since they knew the emperor was up to something. Maybe but not. They know didn't what, at that point. Like, so Horace's daddy issues come from we were out. 
and daddy kept giving me gold stars and he kept patting me on the head and telling me that I was pretty. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, you're doing such a good job that you get to just go do this and I'm a fuck off back home. Sure. But didn't really give him any sort of like reasoning. It was just like, because daddy said so. Yeah. A so memo would have done, left, a right? memo would have done wonders in right. this whole situation. So then Horace is out there and he, and he's, it, you know, then he gets hurt. Well, and they're whispering I, in his I, ear I, I, and blah, 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 blah. I, I, we probably should talk about what the fuck the heresy is even first. But yeah, fuck right. it. Most of the people that are listening to this, this show, show probably know what the fuck And then they probably about. will be like, no, no, no. Look, guys, like, uh, what uh, we uh, explained to you in the first episode is we don't you're getting a tangential fluff f- conversation. You were really, listening we just to a gaming podcast. Yes. Sponsored by, a, sponsored beer by a beer company. <laughs> if you want to know where the priorities are of us three idiots getting together. Yeah. yeah. So there might be fast and loose with it, but you get the general idea. But my point was kind of down the road is I think the bigger, bigger thing is it's because we've talked about the whore, the, the, the heresy we've talked about the, the siege of terror. I, I, I think games workshop is going to have to come around and be like, Hey, this is what happened to the two lost legions. I think people want to know, and I get why they didn't, because it allows people to create their own legions, but mm-hmm. people do that anyway. You yeah. can do that anyway with the second founding. It's not that big a deal. So my whole theory That's about- That's a good point. That's an excellent like, point. My theory about the missing legions- Wouldn't you want to know? Yeah, I would love yeah. to know. And it gives them a lot of story arc, right? And right. and my theory about the two lost legions is they quite literally were like, fuck, we've written a lot of story. Like, let's just, uh, we're, we're just like, I cannot yeah, do I don't know how many these. times I can comb through history and figure out some offshoot of right, humanity. Right, yeah. But essentially, the, I think it's also crazy back. convenient that they just were like, we'll write 90% of it. And like, it's like yeah. 10% like of Like they ran out of steam at some point. Yeah. Like, oh, I can't do this. Uh, Mark Gaskin and those guys were just like, I can't, I, I'm done. Well, yeah. and a lot of those guys, you got to keep in mind that like, Abnett and those boys did great work with the lore, right? Yeah. And really fleshed it out. But, they had to write lore that already fit, fit in like big, huge quotes, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fit in established lore. That was half ass at best. No, a hundred percent. It was just enough lore to sell models. Yeah. Like that was right. fucking it. Didn't, it nothing right? made sense. I'm like, like there was a, uh, it was there, just there, enough lore to sell models and get you to paint them certain colors. Yeah, like, what, 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 no, what, 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 wasn't there a space Marine that was like from the first edition that was like half elf? Or something like that. Like there was a space marine that was like considered half elf, and they completely like after they finally started to do like the, oh the whole purity thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah they now, just they just like forgot about it. It's also weird shit that you have like you have firstborn space marines, right? That other than combat are functionally immortal, right? But you've got one of them that's like dying of old age, and it's like, well, I mean, like what? Yeah. It, like they, but they can't. Like they're constantly regenerating. Yeah. So, like Dante, like Dante deserves a nap. Dante deserves <laughs> he deserves like, he ease just, up, buddy. He just, like, he just, just needs to have a, a seat, have a like, seat, take a knee, just drink some water. Knee, like you're get a dog go. and a recliner and just call it a <laughs> fucking afternoon. You're good, bro. But <laughs> now I'm I'm with you though. It, it would be dope if they're holding those two legions in reserve to be some sort of big story turning point. Yeah. Now I have theories about from the game side yeah. what's going to end up happening. So the three of us are in an interesting situation, right? Because like I play and I kind of know the lore. You're pretty good with the 40K lore mm. and you play when you can. Yes. You don't play at all and only read the lore. Right. So the perspective I'm going to give you is going to be from a game store owner and – Business standpoint. And from a business sure. standpoint. So I think 10th edition is going to come out in June. So for those okay. of you that don't know this, Games Workshop functions on a June to June fiscal year. That's their calendar. So that's why their big, their big, huge releases are always in June. Mm-hmm. So that's why the big box sets, the big game drops, mm-hmm. like all of that stuff happens in June to kick off their year with as big a sales as they possibly can. Okay. So ninth edition came out in 2019. God, was that long ago? Yeah. That was the big Indominus yeah. box. It was 2019. God, that was, yeah. So that, now their game functions on about a four year life cycle. Okay. It's about four years and the edition gets reset. Okay. It's an average. Don't go to be like, well, seventh edition actually lasted. I don't, I don't fucking care. So it's about a four year average life cycle. Mm-hmm. Now, in my opinion, the rule set and based on the player base I've talked to, the rules are not in a great place right now. People are very no. dissatisfied with the game. Yeah. No. Yeah. They need a hard reset. 
They got Heresy out. It's a great rule set. It plays super well. It's their best-selling story. Now they have a game that properly supports it. It's accessible. It's a great business move on their sure. part. Mm-hmm. It's less expensive. Like It's a great game to get into. That being said, now they need to do something with Ninth Edition. They have beat this story to death, mm-hmm. and they've lost the story. Mm. Like, the big Indominus drop was supposed to be this whole, like, Space Marines and the Necrons, and the Necrons are supposed to be doing this huge dynasty thing. Other than the first set drop, they have done fuck all with the Necrons. There's yeah. been no story, no push. We found the squats again. Call yeah. them whatever you want. They're fucking squats. I know yeah. they're the leagues of Votan now, but they're the squats. So Don't the squats are back. That. They broke up the Eldar. They've done all this other yeah. stuff to set the game up mm. to where you have delineated factions. Now, it would be awful convenient if in 10th edition – some major things happened and we saw another imperial fracture because it would allow all of the story. So you've been reading the newer novels. Yeah. So you read all of the Shadow Behind the Throne stuff. Yeah. Mm. Last book of Shadow Behind the Throne. There's a conversation that happens about somebody maybe getting off of a chair. Right. Now. Who's that? <gasps> Could it be that Big Daddy E might actually just stand the fuck up? Just stretch it out. Just and just be like, oh, that was a hell of a nap. And then just like go walking <laughs> what around. What the hell happened with that? Now, that was weird. <laughs> I say all of that because there's some parallels we can draw. Right? How long has he been on the throne? The golden throne. The, the, the 10,000 years. 10,000 10, years. years. Okay. Do we know the story of Slanesh? Does everybody familiar of how the... Yeah, in Slanesh, the 40K universe, how Slanesh well, came about. Well, Slanesh was made by the Eldar because yeah. they went to a, a – they started becoming more indulgent on their – For more, how long? I don't know, actually. So all, years? it was 10,000 10, 10, years really? of debauchery. Yes. Yeah. And bom, that bom, energy bom. getting pumped into the warp because that's yeah. what the warp is. Yeah. It's just, just a – Emotion it's a, and It's energy. a realm of emotion. Yeah. Birthed this god. Yeah. Do you think – 10,000 years. Do you think Biggie's getting birthed? So – Well, let's check the marks, okay? Okay. Big E comes into existence because a shamanistic cabal does ritualistic suicide as a group. Theoretically, they they, they have have, have backed that break on a little bit. Ah, Okay. Well, either way. Either way. Right? Keeping up with the retconning is is, is is insane. Yeah. But okay, well, I'm following you. So they do that, pushes all their energy into the warp. They coalesce that energy and birth Big E. Okay? Now, retconned or not, we know that in the canon... He cut a deal with warp knowledge yes. in order to find out how to make his primarchs. Yes. 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 That 100%. is that is yeah. warp knowledge. 100%. That was the gods gave him that knowledge to make right. his sons. He then didn't pay back his debt, so they yeeted his sons across the galaxy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right? Yeah. So that's yeah. That's not retcon. That is in the story, and it's it's literally in the Word Bears. Hard- it's in the Word Bears novel. They like yeah. get that flashback and get to see the whole yeah. damn thing. It's right? a hard yeet. Yep. And they do. They just Right, yeah. just so. And then also, I just read a finish the novel, the um, Valdor one. Yeah, I was bring did that you read that? Did you yes. read that one? Yeah, that one is just a wealth of that kind of beginning knowledge yeah. right there. But anyway, sorry. So that all happens. So we know he's got that knowledge. We know he's aware of the warp, and nobody else is. Now he's got. He's the strongest psyker in the galaxy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nobody outdoes this man. Mm-hmm. Right. He's aware of what it's doing, can do the whole psychic link thing from across the galaxy, knows what people are thinking, knows what's going on. So all of these underground cults that are worshiping him, there's no way he's just unaware all of this stuff is out there, right? Right. So he's kind of suppressing it and does the whole like, don't worship me, da-da-da-da-da. But it keeps him humble and everybody's like, no, but it should. Even one of his sons. And all he kind of does every once in a while with the sons is like, hey. You gotta, you gotta knock that off. Yeah, like stop. He's just, stop. You know, right, right, Come on, right, I know right. I'm great, but stop. Yeah. Come on, and guys. I'm a great guy, but, but uh, God is a little carried away. You know, so, Demi's fine. Yeah. And so, <laughs> all of this goes down, right? The fight happens, although we know he has future sight and knows like what should be going on. We also know that Alfarius, prior to him getting injured, has the future sight because he he deals with that. Mm-hmm. Zeno's cabal yeah. and that Farseer yeah. lets him see the future. Yeah. We don't get to we don't get told what he sees. He just comes out and says, the Alpha Legion will always follow the true vision of the Emperor. Not 
The emperor. We will hold up the empire. Would yeah, right. no, just the true vision of the emperor. We will always support. Okay, that's all they ever say. Okay, so he gets put on the throne. That's the, the big fight happens. He gets the stabby stab. He nukes his kid, sends him. Yeah, physically gone. But we know that emotion has to go somewhere, and he's warp linked. Mm-hmm. So now Horus is just poof magically, right? All gone. Mm-hmm. Then he gets, oh no, I'm so hurt. Although this man can heal Titans by touching them and right. like bring other people back to life and whatever, but he can't just be like, <laughs> just fix his shit. But like, so he gets put on the throne and gets fed a thousand psychers a day, yeah, right. which is an outrageous number <laughs> for 10,000 years. Number. Well, his sons that are still around and the rest of the empire builds a church. And mm-hmm. spends 10,000 years yeah. putting all of this psychic energy, all this worship, into claiming him as a god while he exists in the warp as a beacon, which means that he can be seen by the other gods. And they just haven't bothered to go over and just slap him around a little bit. Mm-hmm. Nope. He's just a lighthouse in the warp that. Everybody else can see. So you're telling me that this human that's piloting a ship can see the emperor from across the galaxy, but like corn can't just be like, there's that motherfucker. There right he there. Is. You owe me some shit. Yeah. It like, it, I'm like, <laughs> Nope, I don't believe it for a second. So I totally think, and then we had the whole Gilliman thing where he possesses Gilliman tells Morty, I could save you, but it's not time yet. Pitches him back in, destroys half of Nurgle's garden, brings Gilliman back from the dead from across mm-hmm. the galaxy. Yeah. yeah. Like, and then exits Gilliman's body and Gilliman's fine. And now we're 10,000 years. The rumors that he's going to stand up. All the other sons have been rumored that they're now getting closer to home. So what happens if Big Daddy E stands up and goes, just kidding. I am a God. Like you should absolutely worship me. And all of the original sons that went and spread the imperial truth of religion is toxic. It's a poison. It's Mm -hmm. only knowledge. Like, Knowledge, knowledge and science is all we so should worry have to about. Bring back. I think what you end up with is you end up with a second betrayal, but it's the emperor and these sons that feel like. Yeah, so that means yeah. you're going to get you're going to get Gillum and Dorn, Sanguinius, Russ, Vulcan, Vulcan, uh, which is a uh, Vulcan's alive. You know, well, he's a perpetual. Korax, he can't die somewhere. Yeah. Well, Korax is that weird warp thing that's going on. He's out coming there. back, and then you're going to get um, Jagged Icon is going to come back from wherever the fuck he is. Yeah, but because we already know that Morty's a demon prince, yeah, so he's still around. Yeah, uh, yeah. In I wasn't the game, even talking about the bad guys. In the game, we're getting a new Angron. They're releasing a new demon Angron Which, plastic model oh, in 40k. Fantastic. So he looks great. The model's oh. beautiful, right? <laughs> and I wish he's coming I, back. I wish I was slightly artistic. Lehman Russ is ba- is never or not Lehman Russ. Uh, uh. Magnus the Red never went anywhere. Never went like anywhere. we already know where he is, yep. right? So, uh, Perturabo is a, is a demon prince. Perturabo's a demon his, prince. Ha- hasn't left his, his Alpha Legion is still around. Still Alfarius around. still has yeah. his. They've never fully fallen. Alfarius or Omega? Yeah. So this is the same dude. Yeah. Uh, Alfarius. His full name is Alfarius Omegon. He's the yeah. he's the beginning and the end. He's the twentieth, but also the first found. Like it's yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You're the Alpha Legion, but you're the 20th Legion. Legion, So you're the first, but also the last. But he was also the first found. Be awful convenient if you find him first and you'd seen the future. So you dump all your secrets into this dude that happens to look like the rest of his Legion and can go. And he's going, I will always follow the vision of the Emperor. And then you fuck off for a while while the Emperor fucks off for a while. And then you just kind of pop out every once in a while and kind of push things in a certain direction and then disappear again. and. Yeah, those are my and then, boys. And then Lorgar is still is is in constant commune. Right. Is, is so now, praying. yeah. Run the numbers down. What do you end up with if you start looking at which <laughs> Primarchs would be cool with the fact that Big Daddy E is now a warp god, and which Primarchs would be upset with it, and how big is the split? Looks to me like roughly 50-50, doesn't it? But you're gonna get so, oh yeah, well, you're gonna but you're gonna get. That's weird. Uh, I don't know. No, well, I mean, I like, I like, like because there are a lot well, of they things. They can go, how long? So, how long did the Heresy series last? 14 years, would you say? Would you say how long? The Heresy? Yeah, the series. Books. 20 years. 19 years. 19 yeah. years. 19 you, you years do, to get all the books out. You could do 19 years of, hey, this guy came back, and then we'll fuck around for a couple of years. And then this right, guy but comes back. All you back. have to do is that he comes out and says, 
I have knowledge beyond what we have ever held. You shall now worship me as a God. And the domain of man is not just the materium, but the immaterium as well. And we'll have both. Sure would be mighty funny if he was able to get Horus's energy back out of the warp and prop him up as the immaterium emperor while Big Daddy E handled the materium. And then the ones that would feel betrayed. I'm I'm seeing. Okay. Okay. I I, I have a couple of arguments for your point. Okay. What do you got? Okay. So we've always known that there is going to be a massive turn with the last book of the Horus heresy. Right. That that, that has been, that has been the last Terra thing. The last Terra thing. Like with the siege of Terra, they're always been saying like everything is not what you think it is. And so that could be maybe the like, Hey, the emperor is not that hurt. And he goes to the to the to the Golden Throne willingly because that's all of his. Plan. Whatever the conversation it's he also has super with Horus on that the that fucking thing was able yeah. to on the battle barge so damn is gonna fast. is yeah. gonna be the push. Like whatever happens, there's gonna be a conversation and then a battle. Yeah, yeah. Right? But but maybe yeah. maybe the original story is that like the Emperor is so wounded, yeah, is so hurt that, that is, the only yeah, right. way to that like, so that would be the thing where he's like, no, oh, no, I'm not that bad, but I have to go do this now for ten thousand years. I'm gonna peace out, and, become and, a god, and then this is the only way I can really everything I can really make sure that humanity is safe from these. You gotta look at the lifespan of the emperor at this point right so even a yeah. ten thousand year move yeah he gets hurt in the year thirty thousand. and if you look at his lore they're saying that he's been around since like before ever. that yeah. like ever ever like ever, ever. that yeah, yeah. He, i he, mean there's he, the he whole was... joke about like every major emperor warlord anything in the history yeah. of humanity yeah. has it's been him. him. Yeah. yeah. But all of them, he's changed his name, but it's always been that guy Yeah, from the good to the wicked. Yeah. Like the whole, like, yeah, he was Attila. He was Hitler. He was, he was, uh, Lincoln. Yeah, Caesar. He yeah. was Caesar. He was, he was Alexander. Like yeah. he was, all of them were him. Everything that steered humanity into a certain direction. Any, any major twist that we've had in a man. It's always been him. him. Yeah. So he doesn't get hurt till year 30,000. So this man's already spent, fuck it, let's be generous. And at this point we'll say 40,000 40, years. years. We'll yeah. say 10,000 years of recorded history. Yeah. And then year 30,000. So we'll go that far. So 40,000 years. And he goes – All right, so I got to spend 10,000 years on this chair where I'm going to be connected to what's going to make me a god based on my 50,000-year plan. And and this is the only way I can really make humanity okay. He's in the last 20% run. What's 10,000 years at that point? And then then the other thing is like when we were – I just read the – I just listened to the uh, Valdor, um, Birth of the Imperium. There's a slight conversation in there between Malkador and Valdor. Where um, they're talking about the emperor because he's not there, and they say it's something like Valkador is like, oh, is he still like Valdor is like, is he still like pretty human now? And Valdor is like, eh, it's, or Malkador is like, eh, it's it's coming and going. It's, it's something. It's a conversation about like that kind of thing where they like, oh, he's still holding on to his humanity, and it's like, eh, it's starting well, to ebb. So it's starting to ebb. And then and it's, and then that that is this. This is after he and got Valdor's his power. coming back. Or he and, is back. He's out there, the king in yellow. Amnit's been writing about him and they've, yeah. they've said straight up that that's who he is. And he's the things he's doing are make not no sense normal, in like the normal right, law. They don't, yeah. it certainly don't make sense as far as what a custodian is supposed to be doing, but he's doing it. Yeah. So, so, and then there's that, there, there's that kind of conversation and, let's keep and it's in mind always in those that, little conversations yeah. that feel let, kind of out of place. Yeah. In and these with that novels. custodes thing too, you need yeah. to keep in mind how custodes are made. There's a difference between how custodes are made and yeah. how, uh, 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 space Marines are made. Yeah. And that's why, like, even in the gameplay, why custards are considered an elite army. Like, if you have 30 Space Marines, you might have enough points to get maybe 10 custodes, like, in the play. Yeah. They're just that much stronger. But they were never human. These yeah. aren't upgraded humans. No. These are straight-up lab rats. Yeah. Like, they're essentially tiny Primarchs is, is how they were made. Because there was they're, no... They're, the way I've always took that look at the, custodes the, is, that, is that their Primarch is the Emperor. A hundred percent. Yeah. Their yeah. primarch is the emperor, like whereas a space wolf or a dark angel or an ultramarine are gene seeded off, off the primarch. Off the primarch but there their is primarch no gene is the seed for the custodes. Yeah. These yeah. guys are just manufactured. Yeah, that's like, just them. And so you can give them the best of the best. Mm-hmm. It like it's I mean it and it kind of makes you wonder about the whole statement that the emperor made about like 
they shall have the best equipment. They shall bear the best armor. They shall know no fear. They should. It's like, are you really talking about Space Marines? Or are you talking about these Golden Boys? Because yeah. Uh, yeah, these Space Marines got flaws, and these Golden Boys, uh, they got nothing. They got <laughs> they only just, they just flaw. Work. They don't fight fight in concert with each other. They're they're one man. They are completely independent. independent. Yeah, which is actually commented on in several of the books yeah. when mm-hmm. the Space Marines are yep. watching them, yep. and they do the whole like, I don't know what it is, but something doesn't look right are they lethal yes are they a weapon yes but in watching them fight there's something that doesn't sit right with me and then they make all the comments about like they don't fight together there but is they, no they, brotherhood they, here they it is yeah, just yeah. A, they're, they're individual people that yeah. are doing their individual but the fact things. of the matter is is that weapons don't have emotions like it's yeah. that's just is what it is like yeah. And they are just weapons. They are straight up just a weapon. Yeah. You know you're a bad motherfucker when you can send like 10 custodes to keep an entire legion in check. When you're just like, yeah, we're just here to babysit. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. you I a mean, bad so dude. Keep, 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 oh, we're just hanging out. We're just, hanging out. <laughs> we're just watching. <laughs> we're just watching. So. Yeah, I'm like, that is that is an interesting theory. But I'm like, we talk about like how that would change the game like as a business standpoint. Yeah. Having the Emperor stand up is just like – where do you go from there, though? Well, it's, to me, that's what I'm saying is that what we end up with is you end up with Heresy 2.0. Mm-hmm. So it gives you a reason to bring all the Primarchs back into the fold because yep. the only thing that would stand a chance against that, right, is going to be a unified Primarch front. Mm-hmm. It's the only it, – and even then, it's kind of like, I don't know, he's kind of just too much. right-hand strong and in, in, like Primarchs – mentally like he's not even in the fight he's just throwing people around right what now mean, the emperor versus the emperor primarch? versus primarchs oh yeah and so no. it doesn't matter how many primarchs are there it's like how does this even this is matter fair. right yeah. like because we know we don't haven't seen the final book the final fight and all that kind of stuff yeah. right but we know in the story so far in the fight where he gets wounded against Horus, he's pulling punches. Like he's not right, cause actually he, he thinks because he thinks he, Horus is gonna. Well, there's that. At he gets some that point. He gets that he's gonna glimpse be like, oh, of my mistake. son is still in there, yeah. which has come out when when co- when Russ the, yeah. when Russ stabbed him with the yeah. spear of destiny yeah, yeah, or yeah. the spear of whatever it's called. You know Long that came. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Um, it's been around appreciate. since Christ. So yeah, I mean they don't. So, but so he's pulling punches I, until he realizes, is, like, oh, is, I can't. It is, and then, then he literally like, just, uh, and then he just right, goes no. like, okay, I think you're dead, and then, and it's yeah. still like, it's like, holy shit, yeah, <laughs> like that's just, just yeah, a bomb, right uh, yeah, like it's brutal, right? But so you're gonna have a bunch of loyalist primarchs, but the, my the good guys, guys, yeah, the but good what guys they're going to be against the, the what we would classify as the loyalist primarchs will now be the ones that are outside Size, the imperium, imperium, yeah, and they will go. Wait, this isn't what we were made for. I didn't go crusade and fight a civil war yeah. to maintain this for yeah. you to come back and say you're a god and the church is right and to, yeah. to absolutely mm-hmm. not. Like, what does that make us? Does that make us officially demigods? Yeah. Like you're you just got you got 20 Jesuses just walking around? Like what that's not how this works. So I think what you're gonna end up with is you end up with heresy 2.0. Except for the heretic this time is the emperor himself. So and you then, could do it like that, mm-hmm. where it starts with the emperor doing all this stuff, or to do it thought. in the reverse. Everybody starts coming back and they have issues. So Dorn comes back and says, "I, I think don't, that's going to be yeah." I, I, I you get mileage out of both ways. Yeah, but be, your point, I think you were trying to make, is if the emperor is back, how the hell is anybody going to win? Yeah, like nobody's yeah. beating the. Fu- but, but 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 also, I don't care if you've got oh, ten no. dudes. I have my theory on that. Right? But 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 it's also but but I, I'm saying I'm saying uh, more as like a business the, standpoint. Yeah, right. Where it's where it's just like a business, not even like with the lore and everything yeah. like that. As Games Workshop, like there gets to a point where like the Emperor's back and all this stuff, and so these hard held beliefs of the lore of like the Emperor has been on the throne for ten thousand years. He's completely mobile, and everyone's just fucking guessing at what yeah. he's gonna, what he actually wants. That is now blown up. Well, because and so, so basically every the game, single time the game there's a conversation yeah. with him is he walks in the room and the door closes. And then yeah. he comes out and goes, this is what the emperor has told me. Yeah. And it's like, but we never hear the conversation. Yeah, it's like, yeah. it's fucking like Wizard of Oz shit. Yeah. So, yeah. but I have a theory on, so the emperor comes out and says, I'm a God. And all the boys, like the word bears and stuff come up and be like, I fucking told you so. <laughs> I know I it. Said this shit. Dad knew it. Why the fuck you, you owe this? me twenty bucks? Yeah. <laughs> so they're all cool with it. And Morty's like, 
does that mean I get to keep these wings? Because I don't know, these giant testicle flaps look great. And it's like, <laughs> I like dude, being tall. I like being I'm huge. <laughs> I'm huge. So you seen my right? fear. And then Magnus might be like, "Could we? Could we? Could I lose the titty horns? These are ridiculous." Can, I yeah, with that, that, that's I can't even move pod. my head left and right. That, that's like, a whole different pod where we're just, talking about that. So just craziness, right? But then all the loyalist ones, mm-hmm. the original loyalist Marines, yeah. go, "What have we done?" Like, because you need to keep in mind, prior to the Great Crusade, so the whole we're going to reunify sure. humanity and suffer not the xenos to live and da 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 the galaxy was kind of trucking along like yeah. the humans had gone out there they'd seeded planets they were doing trade with other species and da 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 a lot of which are in the game some of them mm-hmm. aren't da 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 so all of a sudden you have these loyalists that come in they get together and be like was it really that bad prior to us going and just nuking everybody because we had this blind belief in our father that yeah. said that this is what needed to be done yeah and, you know, everything was evil except for us. So are we going to have like woke Primarchs? Primarchs no, I think what you're going to get is maybe we roll this bitch back. So the the original loyalist Primarchs become the reset Primarchs. And they go, the only way to do this now is to undo everything we did. And I'm just going to about to say this. Well, we know Emperor. Gilliam is already in bed with the Eldar. Imperious. Right? Well, so, he only lives because of the Eldar. So, so but, but, he gets those guys. Maybe you make a deal with the Necrons. So my are, are thing we, is, are, are we so, going to re-enroll? I'm going to say something. Imperial Segundus. You guys remember that? Yeah. Shit? Oh, Maybe, yeah. yeah no. Just, okay. Yep. So, so yep. now, and then, and that, that has been a huge point in the new books of them being like, Gilman does not want that to get out. Like that can't get out. Yep. That right? can't we, get yeah, out. Yeah. Like Imperial Segundus, like, Hey, yeah. we thought everything was fucked. We thought it was all done. We need to start over from scratch. We're going to hard reset. reset. Well, like, we're not yeah. gonna guess what, dude? You're the guy. Yeah, now. You're the guy. Congratulations. You were the guy. Now you're the guy again. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and that's the thing, right? So Is that, like, I'm just throwing that out there. So, but now let's look at the business aspect. All of a sudden, we bring the Leagues of Votan back. Never technically part of the Empire, uh-huh. right? But were tolerated because they were close enough to humans that it was like, eh, Rats like and us. ogres. You're yeah. like us, but tiny. Yeah. Like, yeah. Ratlins so, and ogrens. <laughs> so, well, those are those are still allowed in. Yeah, you can, in, you can in, have ogrens. There's formations. Yeah. And, but you know. those, are, those have been part of the Imperial yeah. Guard. We sure. tolerate them, right? But the Squats, the Leagues of Votan, the Squats, they like disappeared. They like left the galaxy for a while. Mm-hmm. Then they came back and the Mechanicum has never really been happy with their deal that they cut with earth. Mm. So Mars has always kind of been doing its thing. And apparently they've got a fucking dragon, like just chilling. Oh, yeah, and, uh, like Satan or the Satan. No, they have shards of the Satan, but they, those belong to the Necron. The Necron yeah. have gathered those. Yeah, the no, old, they got the, the dragon that star, lives in the They have that Mars, star dragon that star they dragon. embedded. That's yeah, in the which middle is, of what Mars. What the fuck's a star dragon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. We haven't gone into that. Yeah. It apparently literally like births galaxies and shit. <clears> like it's like <throat> stupid powerful. But it would be really interesting if all so of a sudden we roll Gilliman closer. Gilliman be riding in on a fucking star dragon? No. What I think you end up happening is, is that you end up with a coalition force. Sure. So you have the 10 original loyal Primarchs that are now going, it's time to hit the reset button. And all these people that we said were evil and we need to get rid of, like the Eldar that tried to warn us Mm -hmm. and all of these people, especially with Alpharius and all the people he met with. Oh. And all of a sudden you go and you go to these other races that already have this whole, like, we have to stop this or it's going to destroy the galaxy. Yeah. Who's b- Alfarius knows all of that because like the Eldar were They're there. There's an awful lot of humble fucking Primarchs having to be like, it, yep. we fucked up, we were wrong. Yep. And my and boy Alfarius comes out and just Primarchs goes like, or anything, here's what we have to they're do. They're humble. They're humble people. It, totally I can see Russ be like, I'm <laughs> sitting this shit out. I'm going back to Fenris. <laughs> but fuck you all. <laughs> it, you know? Yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. I could just picture Lee and Russ being like, you know what? My bad, guys. going to be like, fuck, I got my own problems. Mm-hmm. Dorn and Gilliman are gonna they're they're gonna be fine. They're gonna do what they're gonna do. Korax just no, wants to go run around. Dorn and Vulcan are gonna be pissed at Gilliman for allowing this to happen. Because mm-hmm. Gilliman could have stopped it. I think in, in, a, in a ten minute fucking soliloquy in the books, Gilliman could have been like, "Hey, I, look, I had bigger problems. I, I thought I was." Doing the right fucking thing. So I let this Xenos bring me back to life and then I cut a deal with the Mechanicum and then at the same time I let a church happen that I went and fought a great crusade for to show the Look, whole I made, world that I made, there's religion some mistakes. It was a little thing. rocky. It, yeah. Give me a break. Yeah. But just, I've also got I'm 500 worlds and you need to run a war. We're behind you. Okay, yeah. I can Until Alfarius comes out and be like, I can bring four Xenos armies to bear. Okay. To go reset the galaxy. 
And let's not forget that there's a giant bug swarm that's coming in too. No, that is, yeah. yeah, like the greater race. The Tyranids yeah. are thing are still a fucking thing. <sighs> yeah, but nobody's going to be like, hey, we want to run a deal. I mean, they just. But you have the fucking... GSC. You have the Gene Stealer cults, the yeah. ones that actually you could cut the deal with that control where the high fleet goes. So you could cut that deal, and you could be like, "Look, leave the Terran sector alone." So, the, and but help Do you us think the reset great devourer these other ones. Gives a shit about that. I think the GSC is all about efficiency, and the Great Devourer is going to look at it as we cut the deal now, and in five thousand years, we can just loop back around, and we'll pick just, it up on the back loop. Yeah. <laughs> like it's we'll keep on going through. There are parts and pieces of your theory that work i think it's going to happen in reverse though i i think really you could ha- i think you can have the primarchs come back and, mm. and, and, and certain guys are going to come back the big ones are going to come back they're all going to come back right and well, there are the dead the, ones the, we're not the, getting the, sanguineous yeah. i'm sorry the, the, but he's the, dead the models like, are already made that they're, they're in there, there sitting there they're thing. ready yeah, to go sanguineous is supposed to be dead like uh, he's dead but the thing is is that the rest of the models are there yeah gilliman already know. has yeah. a model yeah. Morty already has a model. Angron already has a model. I'm, no, I'm, Magnus I'm already just talking has a model. about the, the, the good guys because the, the bad guys are all around. They're and all they there. didn't go around. What I'm saying is it would be really convenient for them if all of a sudden it, – it's also – I find it really convenient. So the uh, Christmas of 2022, the Battle Force boxes came out yeah. and two of them were for uh, – Traitor legions, and in those boxes, the primarchs were in the box. I noticed that too. I thought which that was really they odd. Don't do. Those are very expensive, unique models, yeah. and they were in these just group boxes. Yeah. So I that was super odd. I was and then they too. released a Raven Guard box and yeah. an Imperial Fist box. Yeah. We know Dorn's out there, and the leader of the Raven Guard is unaccounted for. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, well, no. There, there has been accounts of Corvax where he's he's more of a ghost, a, a warp entity who has been relentlessly hunting the the Xenos or not the Xenos, uh, the Traitor Legions in the warp. Right. You know where he is but now. You can say be. the same thing about Russ. I mean, he's kind of been doing the same. But no, no, no. But like, like they, they, like he, he went after Lorgar. Yeah. Like, like there, there is stories yeah, and more go, about and then, like, and we no, know, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go fuck up Lorgar in particular. And for the first time ever, the World Eaters are getting their own codex. And all work, new yeah. models and Angron's getting its own model. So I'm looking at it from a business aspect of, I think we're going to see hero hammer. I think it is literally going to be from a game aspect. You are not playing 40 K. If you don't have some absolute monster on the table, we're going to get hero hammer, whatever it is, what it is. It's going to be a giant slug fest. It, it cool. I'm yeah, down for yeah. it. But from a story aspect to support that, you have to make them all viable in the story again. You have to make it to where when you're releasing mission packs and you're releasing the grand tournament right. and you're releasing all that stuff, you have to be able to write those missions to make sense that all these fucking primarchs are around. You, yeah. I mean, this, this and it can't just be because I of felt stuff. like it. Yeah. But like, I mean, just knowing how they released and they did the heresy and all the support and stuff they did for it. From a business aspect, you can go another 20 years with this storyline yes. before you decide Absolutely. the next thing, whatever that's going to be. Somebody puts him back on his throne, kills him, something. I just don't know how you fight the emperor, even with a coalition of So folks. I don't think the emperor – from a gameplay aspect, yeah. we will never see the emperor on the table. Yeah. They're never going to make a yeah. model. that If they were going to, they could have done it for Horus Heresy, and that's been True. around since 2014. Yeah. 2013, 2014 yeah, yeah, is when Forge, original yeah. Horus Heresy came out for you via Forge, Forge World. world. Yeah. Yeah. So you have an entire game system where he's still very much in the mix. Yeah. And they never made a model. Yeah. Like he's there's he's never had rules. They're never gonna make a model. Like it's it's not gonna be that's yeah. not even part of the question, right? Yeah. But he's also never been a direct action. Mm. Like all of these compliance worlds, he could have just shown up and just been like Do what I told you. Yeah. Because I fucking said so. Yeah. It, right? And yeah. he didn't. We've seen him make entire legions kneel because he said kneel. Kneel, yeah. And every – couldn't fight it. Everybody dropped. Like yeah. – but he's never been a frontline fighter. Mm-hmm. And that's why – that's how you get away with it never being in the game is that – He's just going to be pushing buttons. He's he's yeah. always the grand architect. Like he always takes that step back. But are you going to have a, a, a legion of word bearers fighting – I don't know, fucking – now uh, that's where the Imperium, Imperium is going to be in fucking trouble, and, right? Is that the traitor legions are still legions. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody else got broken. Like, yeah, 
they did the whole like you can't amass this power anymore. So we're gonna do chapters yeah, but, only. Yeah, but now the primary are space marines, though. I mean, they're it's, baller. It, you just well, they're they're they're, I think they're you just there are decant several, a bunch more. You know, like there's still tons of them out there at different places. I mean, he's got them everywhere. Well, but but it's also to, to on your point Stashed. where there's there's no loyalist legions anymore. I mean, like I think the Dark Angels have to disagree with you on that one. First off, they were never loyal. Okay, well, besides that, yeah, if we're they're, they're they're also in the in the business standpoint, they are hard retconning that shit. They've as never been loyal. As, as I don't give a can. fuck how you want to slice it, retcon it or not. The Dark Angels have never been loyal. And Dark Lion, Angels have never been loyal. The Lion, they're trying really hard to make him loyal. They, they can't. I'm sorry. You, you'd you have to rewrite so many Horus Heresy books to make him look really? loyal. I haven't read It's those, not even yeah. funny because if you read uh, Fallen Angels and uh, their first one, I think it's it's Angels, Angels Rise and then Falling Angels yeah. are the two – and they, you can literally read them back to back. Okay. There's a the two books between them, but you can read them back to back. Mm-hmm. He's never been loyal. Really? Lion is about lion, and he doesn't give a fuck about anybody else. The people that raised him and he called brother in the whole nine yards. He was like, "Yeah, how about you take a flying j- leap off the tip of my dick and go back to our planet? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I got shit to do, and you can fuck off. Yeah, like that guy is a dick." Like, yeah. Oh God, he's awful. But but, I uh, hate but, but, but the same thing. Like like uh, space wolves have never been have never broken their legion, right? You know. But the space wolves are they're uh, insular. Like yeah. they're like. Yeah. But but like, they they've never broken their legion. Nope. They 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 openly flaunt that they are vastly unbroken, yeah. unbroken vastly more than a thousand right. space yeah. marines. They are just like don't give it like we don't know how many we are. Uh, the we blood are angels, a lot more. the blood angels, kind of do that too. So the blood angels are kind of like yeah we don't. They have successor but chapters, but no, they have. A, but, but they, they do they, have successor chapters, chapters but, but, but they they they're much closer, closer. to the yeah, yeah. At a drop, yeah. at a drop of a hat, Dante they would can be all, like, they'll be like, yeah, be like so we need y'all. Yeah, we're coming we'll back. We know that the fists can still do it. Fists can yep. still do it because we know that from the beast story. Yeah, from the beast arises. Yeah, the last they call wall. the last wall protocol. Yeah. yeah, and all of a sudden, all of these successor chapters just show up, and all of a sudden, there's a legion, and it's like they were always kind of like. Different units of the, the of the main of the Imperial Fist. It always seemed to me like they were just like they quite literally took that legion yeah. and were like, okay, all the specialty companies, yeah. you are all chapters now, yes. and yeah. like we can just bring you all back. Yeah, and then, and but, just, but, the, yeah. but then and even then the black uh, the black Templars is yeah openly flaunts that they do not have. They have definitely more than they're probably in close to ten thousand yeah. space marines. Well, like, because they're just like stuff too fuck. that's out there that aren't technically legions but still exist right yeah. so like the whole secret project that is the gray knights yeah mm-hmm. it is awful convenient that you have more than powerful space marines that are also all psychers that also have the ability to tame the warp like that is an awful convenient army to have sitting around when you have the most powerful psyker on the world sitting in the same solar system with you yeah and you just popped these thing into the warp for a quick bake and then brought them all back out. Like the, you make it sound like an easy bake oven. That's what like they did. Some, they were just like, some, we're just some, gonna, some seven year olds making a cookie. Bleep. And then they brought them out. It was like, Hey, look at all these fucking psychic super soldiers we have around. Like, yeah, they're great. Fucking, they're fucking yeah, great. it's like super great. So where are the, okay. So in your theory of fucking shit, where are the gray knights going to fall out? Yeah, that's a good question. So they understand the perils of the warp, and they would understand how dangerous it is to have a warp god in the materium. And I think they're going to fall on the side of the ones that would actually try to reset the galaxy. A lot of their power, though, is derived from using the emperor's emperor's name in combat. And a lot of their their beliefs. No, no, no. No, like their belief system, like – I'm fighting a fucking demon. Are you talking about Grey Knights or are you talking about Black Templars? No, Grey Knights. So the Grey Knights Knights literally get demon true names and then bind them. Yeah, they do all kinds of shit, but they use the emperor's name and like, power to, to kill shit. And they're like, they be, their belief system. Right. But they don't yeah, their believe it ma- so, magnifies their, their, their belief is like, so strong uh, that they are able to overcome um, a lot of these, these greater yeah. demons. Either right. that, or they'll be the linchpin for this new religion that's going to go spread through. And it'll no longer be about the Imperial truth. It'll be about the truth of the emperor. Mm. And it, it won't be, it won't be about, they're the, more like, yeah, they, like, it won't be about the Imperium they personify of man how powerful the emperor is simply by, by how they, they and I think that's the shift comic. you're going to see. It's no longer yeah. the Imperium of man. Yeah. It's, it's the emperor the cult of personality. I'm, I'm, yeah. No, hundred yeah. percent. I'm, I'm both. I'm in, I'm in on both sides. So, like I, yeah. I think, I think it'd either I, I don't be, know which I, I, I just, it all really comes down to a business standpoint. Like w- what's the, 
what's the lo- how do I get the most bang for the buck? Do I do it as a drip where this primar comes back and this primar come back along with this story where people are unhappy and grousing at each other like they kill him and like he has to deal with a couple of the primarchs who aren't fucking happy with him. Maybe Dorn comes back and it's like no, you know what? The Imperial family. We also fuck know off. That, it, it, it's going yeah. to be the Lions. We also know that he Lions ain't going to be happy. Gilliman yeah. is also not a combat Primarch. Yeah. I mean, he's not. Is he capable? Of yeah. course, he's a Primarch. Yeah. But he's not a combat Primarch. Not compared he's to. He's an administrator. Not compared to. Uh, not compared to a lot of his brothers. Uh, yeah, and, uh, tactician. I mean, yeah, if you were to put Gilliman against Vulcan in a fight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, it's not I mean, even close. Yeah. Like, so, but I, I think it's interesting. I, I, I'm. I'm excited to see what they do with the story as a fan of the lore. Yeah. As a proprietor of a game store, mm-hmm. I would like to de- see them do something that actually shakes the game and shakes the game down to its found- like to its foundation. Because yeah. I think what you'll end up with is a gateway for a lot of new players to get in. Yeah. Because right now, the game is not set up to where if you are interested in joining, mm. there's no gateway. Like you – it's – it's – it's you have to learn everything via fire hose and you're just drinking from it. Yeah. And then I, the, I remember doing that. Like, it and was then the like only way insane. to play now is you have to show up with all these hyper competitive people and just get crushed for game after game after game after game. It's not fun. It's just until, not fun. It's, when just, you lose. it's just painful to get yeah. in right now. Oh yeah. And I no. would love to see them do something that, I mean like from a game aspect and a proprietor, what I would love to see happen is that 10th edition comes along and they literally burn every rule book that's out there to the ground. Yeah. It's all gone. Yeah. Every codex, every yeah, rule book, every, agree. everything is gone. There's the new 10th edition core book. And then they're going to release war scrolls for the units. Yeah. And then after that, we'll, we'll get the codexes out or go the same way you did with Horus Heresy, where it's the core book. There's the loyal book. There's the trader book. And then there's the, the support books. Every rule for Horus Heresy is out right now. And it's four total fucking books. You can own every rule for the game. Yeah. In four books. No, and I, I well, five books. So it's I, the I core and then the four that, supplements. Yeah. Yeah, and especially because for me as a player who is unapologetically like a rule of cool player. Yeah. Like, like I don't, I don't look at the data. I don't do any of that. Like I know that, oh, if I have like a bunch of these units, I know I can statistically be, do better than these ones. And what, like, what, I, I don't want to, I, I want to have Lucas the trickster on my army because it's a fun model because if he gets killed in melee, it's an automatic D six roll off. If the other person dies and that's just fucking fun yeah you know and, and it's also and things it's like just like that kind of stuff but they needs like to, be fun. to advertise things like hey if you win this you're going to get an invite to the grand narrative but then you go look at what the grand narrative is and it's not fucking narrative it's just competitive 40k you're just there yeah. for the points yeah. and it's like yeah what is this why don't we get back to I, we look we're people right we're going to figure out how to make it competitive mm. get back to doing it story driven the players will figure yes. out how to make it comp- competitive. Get rid of it. Get rid of the point system. Get rid of all of that shit and go back to bring the fluff that you like. Yeah. No, I'm in. I'm 100%. And that's why Age of Sigmar is so fucking good right now. So Age of Sigmar, the fantasy version of Warhammer, the gameplay is so good. And you can play 95% of those armies and just play the fluff list you like. Because it makes you giggle when you play the yeah. army and it fucking works. And there's still tournaments. There's still a huge community. It still plays super fucking well. And then the best part about and it. And it's like, not toxic as shit, which the 40K community. Is, Jesus. Oh. Sometimes if you get deep into it, you need to wear a gas mask. Like they're just they're a lot of the 40K players, just awful fucking people. I'm looking at you. You know who I'm talking to. You know who I'm talking to. You're one of those 40K players like, well, the metal states are... You're that guy. You're that dude. If you have ever said those words, well, with that new army coming out, I'm really going to have to look at it. I need to shift these five points over to... You're that guy. You're that dude that is more worried about what your rankings are. So what happens if you've got this big army based on ninth edition rules Mm -hmm. and they burn it to the ground and you've got all this plastic and metal, perhaps. Then you can still play it. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> you can still play it. And here's the deal. Here's one of the beautiful things about Games Workshop. Games Workshop has never stopped supporting rules-wise any model they've ever made. Yeah. Mm. They're all supported. All of them. Except for when the squats disappeared and now they're back. So, but they're all supported. If you have Space Marine models from 1989, you from the old Rogue Trader yeah. days... 
Yeah. You can still run those things in the current fucking game. Yeah. There, there, there's like, Logar Grim, Logan Grimnar that is like on foot, which hasn't, that hasn't been a model in, in forever, 30 years, but you can still run it. You can absolutely still run that thing. Now you may have to go find the online rule set for the errata that they wrote or the PDF document that they came out. It may not be in the current book, but the rules will still be there to support it. So, uh, you gifted me that, that vintage Eldar army yeah. that you had sitting around, right? A lot of metal in that box. Yeah, a lot of metal. I could, I could strip and repaint all that stuff and rebase it onto the current base size and run every single one of those models. So you're not out anything. Like nobody's going to be out their army. The Who worst just, you're out is the book. And also a shift yeah. in perspective. I think that's what he's really getting yeah. at is where it's more of like, yeah, be, you're going to have to be, are, you're going to have to be in a yeah. healthy game space because it's actually going to shake the meta. You don't get to run the same list you've run for a decade. You're going to actually have to go get fucking I mean, good at just, the game. It's, it's, right. It, 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 knowing people, not knowing the game, but knowing people, that's going to piss. Good. You're not, you're not going to necessarily lose customers, but. If Games Workshop has a sack at all, they will reset that fucking game because the number of new players that they will gain, the number of models and books that they will sell, if they yeah. reset that fucking game, would be astronomical. And as shitty as they are at being able to get me product. Just, it, by the way, Games Workshop North America is nothing more than a logistics company. They are supposed to take cardboard boxes with plastic in them, mm-hmm. put them in a larger cardboard box, and then send them the, to me as a retailer so that I can sell them to people like you. They can't do that never buy efficiently. Stuff. Never buy anything from you. Yeah. I, I believe <laughs> you. So, <laughs> well, I mean, that, it's, it, but they can't do it. They can't efficiently do it. I don't, so, I don't know if you're going to, I think your theory I, w- I, think, I, I, and, and, I don't think I you're going to get 100% of that. Somewhere in the back I, I halls of GW, d- yeah. they know the right thing to do but is to scary reset shit. that game. It's and somebody is shit. just like me at that company, I guarantee it. So going you're going like, to probably get a 75 any idea how many new players we get? Yeah. And 40K players aren't going to walk away. They're not. They're going to go on Reddit, and they're going to piss and moan, and they're still going to show up and play the local tournament. But the number of new— They did it with Fantasy— they did it with yes, fantasy. Yeah. And they made it better. Just they did it with Horus. So those are the same. It'll it'll look they something like that. They burnt fantasy to the ground and they released the Days of Sigmar and but it's I, crushing. I 100 percent agree with Big Jim. Where it's like it's scary. Like I don't like like it takes a lot of guts to do what you're talking about. I think it's the correct thing to do yeah. as a company. But it's it's all speaking it's of correct things off to do. Yeah. I'm gonna things. hard shift this topic right here because yeah. we are just a gaming podcast, yeah. right? Right. A new book has come out as of the release of this podcast. For Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. Right, and it's like been a cowboy. long damn time, yeah. but Dragonlance is back, baby. The War of the Dragon is once again been updated. So we have real rules. All right. And the warfare rules are in it. Well, I am not a DD player. Yeah. I, I I love the idea of DD. Yeah. Sell me. Come on, sell me. Okay, what so is this? Here's so, the deal. So D&D, sell me. You know what? I'm going to let you go first because you're a Dragonlance so, fan too. So, like I'm a yeah. What is Martin this? Weiss and Tracy Hickman wrote these books. Shit in the middle, middle, mid eighties. Um, they were part of the whole uh, first, the first kind of crew of writers that started writing books. Cool. And they, and they had they had a world, and they were play. They played their world. Got it. Okay. So the War of the Lance, this this dragon queen has disappeared, and she comes back, and you've got a group of heroes that go and fight her. Okay. But. Uh, you got dragon high lord. So each dragon, ha- dragon army has a blue dragon or a red dragon, and the rules for the By dragons the way, are a little different than Dungeons S- and Dragons. Soth is back, and, and you've got a death knight Soth who can power word kill your oh, ass. Shit. He's pretty bad, and then you've got this group of heroes, and the the rules are a lot. A li- I would say a lot different than Dungeons and Dragons as far as. Come on. What magic you just can do and, and this, that, and the other thing. Look how beautiful this of, book yeah. is, too. Ooh. I just picked it up. Did you get a copy? Yeah, I got a copy. I got Look a, at I this thing. Oh, that is yeah. beautiful. So, so that's, that's the that's brick and mortar source. exclusive yeah. copy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So here's the deal. <laughs> this thing also has that the thing. rules for force on force warfare. Warfare, yeah. Which is so different than the, the most of game. D&D is the three or four of us. Bowling We're just bullshit. adventurers, and then we boldly go out to yeah, yeah. That, that you know yeah. that is kick the, the door that in I know, and fight. Right? That, that, that is the D&D that, that I know. It's a blast. It's, like, it's a blast. You guys Jim and around. I are Jim and I are in a campaign together, yeah. and we we play D and D, and and we'd yeah. love to have you if you ever want to come play D and D. We'd 
I I I I want to play D and D a lot, but we can one off you. You don't have to commit. Like just come yeah. and just oh, play yeah. once. I'll, I'll one off. I I, I will um, be I will be no, a co star. No, we can mercenary you in. You can oh. come fight well, with us for a while. We're we going to do our campaign off. after the after the podcast yeah. every week. So so no, yeah, I can't do that. But, but yeah, okay. uh, but I, I at any it. rate, yeah, no, but it's always like you know three or four people, and they're on their adventure, and that's yeah. it. This gives you the rules for. This is me, and that's my sidekick, and this is the 10,000 motherfuckers I brought with me to kick your ass. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, like, you could run it to where you and your crew are a bunch of generals. Speaking of the 10,000 motherfuckers. (laughs) Okay, so that's the deal. That's the dragon queen, and she's she's chilling on the back of her red dragon. So, it's an absolutely – so, Dragonlance, originally part of TSR, and it's this publication of books – but they were just a lore thing, and we haven't seen an updated Dragonlance book, I think, nope. since AD and D. No, so the, oh, the book, the, so the rules, rule book, book to yeah. play it. Yeah, I think it's been a, since AD and D. The new Dragonlance book came out at Gen Con this year. Yeah, Gen I, Con so, Indie. Yeah, uh, maybe ten or fifteen years ago, they they wrote some more sequels. There's a bunch of these books. Yeah, the, no, re- no, reboot, yeah. the reboot essentially shit, happened shit, at Gen yeah. Con Indie yeah. twenty two, and then. So Margaret Weiss and Tristan got the, the rights back. There was some legal ease between TSR and Wizards of the Coast, and they solved all that. And they've re-released another book, which is now a sequel to everything. So it's not a it's not a redo or a redux or anything. They they wrote a sequel, and I'm like a quarter of the way through. How is it? It's a slog. I haven't even started. Uh it's a slog because it, it takes place. Uh, well, so but I think they have to inform so, a whole new public. So the on women. What so the one of the the, the the main mm. characters is female, and her. Her, her father what it gets killed during the war of the lance oh. so the only way to bring him back is to go back in time well you know when you go back in time nah, with the, and then who, okay. who goes back in time and fucks things up the most a fucking kender so i don't think i've gotten it <laughs> fucking tassel off yet but he's still around he's a kender they're they're halflings but they're fucking natural so thieves that's okay, the cool, other cool. thing with dragon lance is that dragon lance does not take place in the world of dungeons it takes place on a, on a planet it's oh, a different plane oh, it's a different it's a plane, pl- yeah, it's it's a different, a different plane thing. of existence the rules and the way magic works is, is very different magic oh, is regulated okay. even bad okay. mages have rules like they have the bad mages and good mages are still aligned with within a rule fabric that they deal with okay you've got a guy who uh the gods are yeah, it's, it's a completely odd, different god list of gods. There's there's cla- there's species that exist yes. in Dragonlance that yep. don't exist in D and D. The magic works different. Okay, okay. It's its yeah. own thing. So it's it's actually as far as D and D is concerned, it's a very exciting update oh, because it's okay. not much, just much different. It's not just another story or another whatever. Fantastic. If you play D and D and then you went to to Kryn and Dragonlance, it was very different. Yep. You you your may your magic user couldn't just be like. Fireball, you, you went fireball, through a fireball. fucking fireball. test, and if you didn't make it to the test, you probably died during the fucking yeah, testing. Yeah, so the thing is that, like, if you're playing a magic user in Dragonlance, you're dangerous. Like, yeah. dangerous, because it's all regulated. It's done through schools. There's, like, an entire policing facility. So, There's, oh. like, a regulation on all of it. Whether you go dark or not, they don't that doesn't, care. They that's don't care. You. It's like, hey, whatever you do with this information, it's fine. That's up Here to, is the information. Right? Think about, like, law school, right? When you graduate law school, they don't say you're not allowed to be an ambulance chaser. Yeah. Like you can go do that yeah. or you can go do pro bono family law. And whatever they hang fuck, out together. They don't fucking like hang out. Like, they don't necessarily whatever the think it's a bad thing, but they still kind of hang out together. Yeah. Right. They have conclaves and they talk and they do yeah. all their whatever shit. Whatever you do with so, your law degree is up yeah. to you. So whatever you do with your magic degree that you got from – but, but Dragon every, Harbor, you but follow the rules. Everybody goes through it. Yeah. yeah, and there's no wild magic, so you can't just be like, "Oh, I'm not going to take the test nope. to be a mage." They'll come fucking find you. Yeah, they'll find you, and they just get rid like of you, like the IRS. They're going to come find you. Yeah. Um, so it's, I love bureaucracy and magic. So all these wars, and then the, the, you know they've got to find this thing and that thing. They fucking how they, and they fixed, travel around. And, it's how they fixed honestly with magic usage. So magic usage in D and D, until you get to higher levels, it's lame. You are far better off taking like a barbarian where you just have a big that's sharp stick well, and do. you just beat things to death. That's You're going to have guy. more fun than low my level guy. magic because yeah. low level magic is you go fireball. I can't do fuck all the rest of the day. Yeah. They're like where I have I have burnt out everything I've got. <laughs> like fireball. I'm fireball. done. Yeah. Dragonlance, when you get into magic, 
you are an expert. Well, you're when, a cer- you're certified to be a mage. You you went yeah. through a testing procedure kind of so thing. So even oh, as so a level one within you Dragonlands, you you're dangerous. Yes, you do. You get like, hey, look, I've got my. So you've got your Sigma. license, and you yeah. get to walk yeah. around. You're, with all, you're, it. A, yeah. you're, you're a bad yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. Like, do, uh, do they stop you at checkpoints? Like, sorry, do you have your pepas? So <laughs> it's a. So it's it's an exciting time to release it, and it's a super cool part of the story. Yeah. And this is the whole That's fun. So this update for Five E is still during the War of the Lands. Yeah. So it's still the Dragon Queen. It's still Soth, the Death Knight. Like yeah. it's still all of that stuff. So it's a. Uh, I mean, they did a cartoon. Uh, people have been talking about. I mean, instead of doing this, I don't want to segue unless we're kind of petering out on this thing but i have grave now grave concerns about the new D movie oh god no i'm Ooh. happy to talk about it did you see the new poster i, I heard it. Ooh, man i, I have, so I have you want to talk about made for tv me, movie looking motherfucker yeah, oh sense. my god so in a market where it is ripe as shit to be able to make a movie yeah like D D. And it should make buku, buku money, bucks, right? Just yeah, yeah. I'm like with the My Marvel universe, the DC gosh. universe. Yeah. yeah. You, so first off, are we familiar with the D and D movie from the '90s yes. that had with the Marlon Wayans? With Marlon Wayans, you mean the seven? cinematic masterpiece? Yeah. Okay, Jeremy so, Lyons and with with Marlon Wayans, I I worship his entire catalog. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> so. That movie was two plucky thieves that are off and get themselves in trouble that they shouldn't have been part of. Rogues, and it's like a rogues, rogues. It's like a buddy cop comedy that happens, right? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, Jesus, this is awful. And then little leaks started coming out of this, of like people in their costume on set and like on location doing this stuff. And it was like, man, this is looking isn't Chris this is looking Pine like we're getting darker. Yes, he is. Chris, Chris Pine. Pine's part of it. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the chick from Fast and Furious. Yeah, the smoking hot Latina chick from yeah. Fast and the Furious. Yeah. Uh, that was an avatar and stuff too. And she's uh, a warrior of some know. sort. And then there's a knight. A and then, uh, and then they, they got all the classes in they, there. They, they so, have all the classes. And, they're, they're, they're and they're the, the original thing yeah. was, hey, we're going to we're gonna be loyal to how the game is played and it's going to be right. fun and And so we were supposed to get this like grittier... It's not like gritty. believable, it's whatever. It's not like Andor. And then that, you know, yeah, and then that fucking... trailer dropped and it was like, oh God, this is crappy CG. Yeah. It, like, yeah. it's and like, oh, bad. it's not finished. It's like, oh, this is a rough trailer. Then so it's not like the hedgehog did. So we didn't hear anything for a couple months and then they dropped the poster and it was like, this oh, isn't even good Photoshop yeah. work. Like, really? it's awful this is not so bad so it's so bad like it's i'm gonna find this poster for you because you're gonna be like what the (laughs) like and what terrifies me is that like i've been i've been a gamer since i was nine so it's been 30 years of playing on a tabletop yeah but but, and and anything like the marvel universe has taught us that you can be both serious and and tongue in cheek at the exact same time. And people are like, oh, it's going to be tongue in cheek. And there's some funny so, things like, what is that called? The owl, ba- like the owl bear in the trailer. People so this like, is that the, was cool. That was this literally is, it's it. in, yeah. It's in Chinese, but it's the exact same poster. Oh, that's awful. It's so bad. That's so bad. You got the Chris Pine eyebrow, and you got. And that glow effect around his weird artifact thing, just awesome. Yeah. Like, it's just, and it's like, so let me get this straight. You essentially oh. had all the money in the world and you're making a Dungeons and Dragons uh, movie, which and, means and I have a, uh, well, and you've got, there's, there's people who are like, oh, I play the game and I love it. I want to see what they're like, Joe Manganiello, like what he really thinks. Like he better. I'd love to talk to him about it. I, I want to know when he sees the movie, if he's going to be like, so, because that, so, I know he wants to do a movie. He wants to be part of a movie. If you want to do a movie and you've got left and right limits, do that one. Do Dragonlance. So is I'm going to tell you right who, now. Who, who's that right there? Is it, what's that guy's name? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, uh, and that uh, and uh, the bad guy is um friggin. Oh, who is uh, that? Uh, Notting Hill. Notting Hill yeah, guy. Yeah. yeah. He, he's oh, the, uh, the 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 British dude that always yeah, plays yeah. the like I'm super wealthy and no, I, I, I'm I'm fuddling I'm fuddling no, no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm fuddling I'm funny because British. I just don't really understand. What and he's, he's, he's in a British. bad guy. And literally one and the, the last um, guy befuddling. Richie movie. He was a bad guy. and He was great in it. Oh, he's fantastic. But he, he's, the not, he's, he's the bad guy. Let me say his name. Oh, this is even worse. How did you find a worse poster? So our producer found a poster that's even worse than the one. Ready? Oh, let me see this one. Hugh Grant. That's the guy. Hugh Grant. Ready? Yeah, I was calling him Hugo, but yeah. you, How much have you had to drink? 
I'm probably not now. enough. That's probably fine. not enough for this. Probably, I'm no. I've actually. I've had a rough day. I've had. I've had a good amount. I'm not even looking at it. And then first take. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, it's just like confusing to the eye. Oh, it's so bad. So, uh, so I went to film school. Yeah. When after I got out of the army yeah. and I, I did the corporate thing for a while, I went to film Hugh school. Grant. I'm telling you right now, on the film knowledge I have and the equipment I have, Michelle Rodriguez, I could, Rodriguez. I could shoot a darker grittier more true to the purpose yeah. of dungeons and dragons short film than you this can, movie is yeah, going to you be you can live in that world and have all kinds of different things because that's the beauty of it which is what it should have but been jesus h christ do we have to have this silly bullshit the la- all the movies have been bull- and they had they do you know what look- this is this is this is movie executives going it's a kid's game so no, we no, need to make no, a no, kid's no, movie no, no. No, what that is is that it is movie executives getting on Reddit and reading funny stories. Oh, this about, happened in my about, campaign. About, about, about yeah. this happened in my yeah. D&D You know what? Campaign. You're absolutely right. Hey, That's hey, exactly hey, what this is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, we tried, I want we, we, this we, included we, in the movie, and, and the people are like, ah. We, 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 we tried to seduce a dragon. I seduced the dragon. Yeah. And they oh, that's hilarious. And you know why they seduced Shrek? Because they watch Shrek. Yeah. And the donkey and did and it. And it's funny. Like, and it's funny if it's your five best friends hanging out. Yeah. And it's the one guy who always does shit like but that. But if you're going to spend $200 million on a movie. Yeah. And if give I'm, it some if story, I'm gonna buy. Uh, uh, there's, there's frivolity in campaigns. But we went and murdered villages and killed fucking vampires. Yeah, and like yeah. people were dying yeah. because we, if we didn't do our jobs as role players, uh, as, as whatever, the heroes. Yeah. People are dying or we were going into fucking smoke people and take their shit. You're DMing our campaign yeah. right now. And the but, amount uh, that, that, of just rowdy things that my character has done. I have literally to quote one of my favorite movies of all time, mm. Robin Hood men in tights. I, I have, but split, I can speak in a British accent. I have <laughs> spit a man in twain. Yeah. No, that's what, that, you, that's do. That's what you do. And you can have the, the funny bar thing. Like everybody's hanging out and having yeah, a good time. The bar then you go, doing this. Then you the bar go doing fight. That. Yeah. And horrible shit happens. And then you can go look. Andor was fucking awesome. Everybody's bitching. Cause it's not star Wars. No. Yes, if, it is. If star Wars yes, existed, that's how it would be. That that's, fucking emperor. That's why right. Rogue One. Yeah. That's why Rogue One is so good. Everybody, Rogue does it. One is a war yeah. movie. Yeah. That is a yeah. war movie, but it goes pew pew. Is that a bang bang? Yeah. Like it is. Like yeah. that, that, is that, that, that is a war movie. Stormtroopers yeah. actually don't suck. Like yeah. they do their fucking. They can actually shoot. I like, have not watched one bit of Andor, and I'm really it, excited. Uh, to the, start you it. need to. You need to. You watch it because. The, so they, I've been waiting for a day off, and I'm literally think I'm just going to get up in the morning, and I'm just going to watch it. As like essentially a movie. I'm just gonna. Yeah, that's yeah, all I'm planning. Just on doing all the today. way through. We should have a mandate. We should do this. We should do this. this we should make hand. this happen. It's um. It. We'll get smoke cigars. We'll get probably the way to do it too. I watched blankets. the episode. Yeah. Oh my god! Can it be weighted? <laughs> yeah. Can it be a weighted just a blanket? Just a huge weighted blanket. <laughs> and we'll just sit there and I, I, we'll I, eat scorching hot Pringles and smoke cigars. I want to feel like somebody's just laying on my chest, keeping me warm. But. No, that that shows it. But I want to see what these guys say because I know like guys like Joe Manganiello. He wants to do a Dragonlance movie, and some of these other guys are they going to come out and be like, Joe, Joe, if you're okay. listening, yeah. I got you, boo. Like, I will, I will, I will, I will help. Isn't he? I'll help with the pitch of- and the previs. I'll uh, like. But have your people call me because I don't have people. people. <laughs> yes, yeah. so. that, that, that is really funny that you said because isn't there like the most like Hollywood D and D group? Wasn't there like a it's thing crazy? About that? There's yeah. a ton yeah. of them. Yeah, they're, they're like, so, like they're, there's like a D and D group that like in Hollywood. So Joe like, Mangiello. I don't know if I called Joe Mangiello Hollywood celebrity. Yeah, I'll give him that celebrity celebrity. But, but like, like so. But, but, I mean, but like it's with like producers and directors yeah. and actors. There's and a ton of them. Like, and they, well, Joe Manganiello, I think together. he said he spent $150,000 redoing his basement. Yeah. Into that yeah. Yeah, 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 So, uh. So how can you guys not fucking get this done? Well, fucking get it done. It, so. It's good fun. Do, do your job. Do your job. It, it, yeah, like it, do your it job. should be to where this could have been taken seriously. So. But they've had, they've got fucking Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings movies. They've got fucking Andor. There's and so fucking, much reference where it could so be many like things that like look, look yes, this is like nerd culture. But Batman. They, people like dark Batman. It not a fucking did cartoon. Did you watch the new Batman? It's the really Batman? Good. It was yeah, dark. Really I couldn't really it's, I, it's a detective movie. I don't like yeah. I think it people were watching it expecting like a Batman action movie it and it's a like, detective movie. Yeah, and like it's him. so good. It's so good. It's a noir film. I don't he's a bitch. Why? Because he was a vampire? No, because he's a bitch. 
I don't know. He was really good in the Batman. Was really it wasn't a bad movie, though. He I mean, was like, really I watched. He's believable. Yeah, yeah, to be honest with you, yeah. he's, uh, he's supposed to be young Batman. Well, well, and, and, and guess, what, guess what? Young Batman, a little bit of a bitch. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of a bitch. Because I was like, I fucking miss my parents. And I was like, dude. We get it. I know. That it was sucks. still like Goodbye. fucking yeah. 20 years ago for like, you. Man, I'm like, still I'm going to I want a fucking real Punisher, all right? You know. Dude, Netflix Punisher was dope. Netflix Punisher was good. I like Bernthal's great. I just need him to fucking grow a little bit bigger. Just think he was bigger. too small. Frank Castle's like six two. Yeah, he's forty. He, he, he's, no, he's supposed Italian, to be six fucking, four. Okay, yeah, original yeah, yeah. Punisher was. You're talking about Garth Innes Punisher, and that's a different Garth animal. Garth Innes Punisher is the Punisher. It's yeah, my it favorite is, no, Punisher. It's everyone's favorite Punisher. But Marvel Max Garth Innes Punisher is a but different even, even Punisher. Even the yeah, Punisher. That guy was a is guy. a brick shit house. But yeah. Garth Innes Punisher is its own canon. That's its own, own thing. thing. No, He's no, not, even, it's not dude, even part of the canonical. Hundred, hundred, I can have even multiple the first hundred, podcasts like, about Punisher Born. Even the, I can the, have multiple. Even I before that, that, though, the first oh hundred God. episodes plus the Punisher Wars, you know, like Punisher fought Wolverine. He went toe-to-toe with Wolverine, uh, and he was a bigger guy so he could stand getting the shit pummeled out of him by Wolverine, and he did. Um, and some of the people he fought, I mean, most of the time he wasn't fighting – Marvel superheroes, but he was still a bigger fucking guy, and he was a Vietnam vet. And he, he, he okay, anyway. That, but I but we're getting, we're get getting out of the that. fucking yeah. thing. Going back to D and I'm, I, I was kind of like, oh, this is cool, this is gonna be fine. Nope. And then I've watched the second trailer, and I'm like, no, this is fucking stupid. And I like fucking Chris. Like, well, and that's what I was talking about, right? Is yeah. great. Yeah. If you look at the the D and D movie from the '90s, where it's just two plucky thieves that are out and they yeah. get in trouble, right? Yeah. And then you look at this one and it was like, there's a new D and D movie coming. And That's I was seeing all these like spoiler photos and yeah. it was like Michelle Rodriguez and her costume. Like yeah. costume it was gritty. Sucked. It was dark. It looked good. And then they showed the, like a picture of the villain yeah. and yeah. it looked dark and gritty. And all of a sudden I was like, holy shit, are they going to do this right? Well, like, are we going to see something awesome? Yeah. And then all of a sudden it came out and said, honor among fee- among thieves. And I was like, son of a bitch. Yeah. Like you guys did it again. Like, yeah, it's, it was it's a, it's a fucking team of this band of thieves that get in there a little bit deeper than they're supposed to be. And it's like, yeah, why didn't you do this shit where it was legitimately like, no, these are professional adventurers and they've been hired to go fucking pull this job. I mean, they, they, yeah. they, 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 they could have like, done like with the bar. Cause I understand they're doing the bar thing because the bar is always like, the one that you talk about so, and like every other thing, but they could have done it with like the witcher where it's like the bard gets pulled in and he's over his fucking head. Yeah. And the witch doesn't like, want to be, and there. does and not want to be there. And they're like, this is not what I want to do yeah. guys. Speaking this of the is witcher, not what I want to do. That is now essentially the ner- the nerd Jesus. Like he is. Oh, you're my hair. Uh, Henry, uh, Cavill. Henry Cavill. He's king of the nerds. Oh my God. He's so good. Isn't he? This man's king of the nerds. He's Superman. He's the Witcher. He, he plays, plays 40K. 40K. He's a custoder. Like, it, it, like, last week, he asked Bond, me. Probably not going to be he, you, 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 la- he almost missed his Superman callback yeah. because he was busy raiding in World of Warcraft. Yeah, yeah. So so you, like, you, you, you ask us like goals for the show. I want to interview him. I want to get him. You here. know what? I, I want to get here. Him. Yes. Would I, I absolutely love to talk? There's, I want here and I will not say a word because I will be like just. There's just three. Gain out there's on three it. big celebrities that as a nerd show, I would love to have. Right. Yeah. It's Henry Cavill. Oh, my God. It's Post Malone. Whew. Post Malone. Post Malone. Massive Magic the Gathering player. Really? Yep. 100% massive Magic his, the like, Gathering player. Tattoos? Yep. Oh, wow. And he's a Texas boy. So he's come Texas on home. Hey, come on home, son. And uh, and then Joe Manganiello, like I Cavill's would. Cavill's brother's you know. a fucking in the Royal Marines too, so we could fucking do a whole vet thing. Yeah, so you know, those are the three I'd love to talk. There's some other celebrities that have dabbled so in the world, world. Yeah. but those three are just like unapologetic. Like, like I, this yeah. is what I fucking do. I mean, yeah, they're they're just yeah. here for it. So. Yeah. Uh, but I just I want to see what like Manchala because he's the guy who's been fighting I, like how he didn't end up in that movie I have no fucking idea. It, oh. maybe ten bucks. Did, ten bucks says they floated a script and he went fuck uh, off. You're yeah, insulting this isn't my what game. I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. I, but I can't believe Wizards because he hasn't. Just, he's played the same character. Yeah. the yeah. same character for like twenty years. Yeah, I'm kind of yeah. doing the same thing though. I play the same guy in video games. It's the same guy. I'm I mean, that way now. Yeah. I just have Snuggins. Yeah. Snuggins. Yeah, I play. Yeah. It's Snuggins is my only character. Really? No, he's just, I don't even play video games. He anymore. just, I don't, no, he just gets rebooted in every, yeah, every D and D campaign I play. It's it's I, it's Snuggins my guys, just, it's what I do. you don't work hard, work better. Yeah, no. So what do. happens is that Snuggins levels up to a certain point, right? Yeah. And then inevitably because it's D and D, the campaign dies. Yeah. And then another campaign comes along. 
So I bring out Snuggins, and then I come up with some backstory on why he He's was fucking Link. He was so many. He was so many levels, and had all this yeah. stuff and whatever in the previous campaign. And then something horrible befalls Snuggins bum, bum, bum. and then it resets him and then he goes and drowns his sorrows in a bar. And so now he's not in fighting shape anymore and yeah. da, 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 da. So same. now he's got to work Absolutely, his way yeah. back into yeah. being so, as so good you, as he you, was. You constantly make like fat Thor. I, I make, uh, I make, I make, uh, yeah, I make fat alcoholic Thor. Ragnar. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Alcoholic yeah. Thor. I like it. Yeah. 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 yeah let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. But they, uh, yeah. they uh, so yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe he's like, I'm not going to say anything bad, but I'm just not going to be in your movie. <laughs> God. Uh, yeah. He, I don't dude, know. he was like, oh, we're doing the D and D we hear this blah, blah, blah. And he was saying shit. And then, yeah. So, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> we're, we're going to see because I started watching Willow. The new show? The show. It's and? fucking, fucking awful. Is it? It's, Fuck. it sucks Shit. so bad. Cause I, we, I, my wife hadn't Shit. seen it, hadn't seen Willow. So we watched Willow. She's like, oh, this is cool. Like, it's a kid's movie, but it's a kid's movie. This one's not. And I'm not yeah, going to get it. Yeah, it's the 80s, so it's just fucked. Fucking, yeah. Yeah, like it's. There's weird shit. And I wasn't going to be like, oh, you know, no, this one's got some woke shit in it. Not, it's, 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 it's a different kind of, it's just fucking awful. Um, some of the creatures aren't, aren't bad, but it's just, you know how to do a fucking medieval movie. You've, there's enough TV shows that fucking do it right. Just do it right. Well, and that's what I don't get, right? Is that like you have shows like Vikings and It's uh, easy. The Last Kingdom and all this stuff I, that Do that, but make uh, right. but magic. Like, yeah. Well, even then, like some of those that came out, there there is a magic that's kind of pulled in in some yeah. of them, it's or referenced or whatever. And yeah. it's like this can be done. Yeah. And you're just choosing to make it as cheesy as you possibly can. For laughs. Like, do they all have quip? Am I going to fucking have some... Dude, I've been in combat. You've been in combat. I've been getting shot at. I'm not making fucking funny... <laughs> a little to, quip? Yeah. I'm fucking in my tank and fucking dirt. And fucking people are trying to fuck... Hey, this is for no motherfucker. I'm trying yeah, to like, I'm busy. Yeah. I don't have time for... Fucking funny quips. Like, you can have one or two funny quips. Like, it... I get it. Like, the audience needs to have that. But constantly, it does just... Just right. Doesn't. And even like, even Schwarzenegger got away with it. Every once in a while, you can just throw the quip in there. Um, Arnie's almost, yeah, but he, if like even Predator, like not, not really any fucking quips dudes in the combat scenes where they're fighting humans, no. not a lot of quips, nothing nope. funny. And then when they're fighting the fucking thing, they say shit to shit when Billy's like fucking, you know, whatever's out there ain't no man and like the bullshit you ain't afraid of nothing no yeah no they don't fucking yeah it, 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 no yeah but that's what we're gonna get and yeah i'm unfortunate but what i'm gonna and say we will is review uh, that movie uh in depth as soon as it's out i'm yes, sure we'll have things to say right. what movie is this the, the new D movie. movie oh yeah no, so yeah. we'll uh, we'll have things to say but uh until then yes well, I came uh, to sign off. Awesome. Yeah. You timed it perfectly <laughs> sir. yes you did fucking nailed it uh <laughs> i'm gonna finish my beer and uh, I'm sure there's some dice I need to roll somewhere. Oh, but uh, boys, party. thanks for great. being my nerds, man. I yeah. fucking uh, appreciate you. Skull. Russ was right. Cheers. Oh, f- I think All we right. both had good points. We'll see you guys next time. Go check out Second Pitch Beer Company. Yeah. Talk to you all later. Yeah, we need Thanks money. for being, thanks for watching Warhammered. Because he forgot that.